Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Outlook can also assist you in planning a meeting by sending out invitation to attendees. These are called meeting requests. The recipients of your meeting request will receive an email message in which they must click a button that indicates if they will be attending. The response that they send is then recorded and stored by Outlook. In the future, you can double-click on the meeting request in the calendar and then choose the Tracking tab, if you're using Outlook 2003 or XP, to view the responses of who's coming to the meeting. To plan a meeting, open the Calendar folder and select Actions from the menu bar and choose Plan a Meeting. The Plan a Meeting dialog box will then display, and we use this dialog box to specify who to invite to the meeting by clicking into one of the boxes at the left side of the dialog box, where you see the words click here and add a name, and then typing in the email address of the person you wish to invite to the meeting. You can then press enter on your keyboard and repeat this process for all the other attendees. However, another way to add attendees is to click the Add Others button in the dialog box and then select the Add from Address book command. Here you would select a name from the list on the left and then you can select as Required, Optional, or Resources the classification of the selected object. So if student one was optional, I can click optional to add them to that section. If student two was required, I could add them in. And then you would click OK. That's the other way to populate the invitees. Also, to select a start date and a start time for the meeting, click the drop down arrow to the right of the meeting start time and select the date for the meeting. You can then pick a time and repeat the process for the meeting end date and end time. Make sure that the attendees that you've invited aren't busy. You can see what they have entered into their calendars at the right side of the dialog box for the time that you selected. And while you cannot see what they're actually doing, you can see whether or not they're out of the office, busy, tentatively scheduled, or whether there's simply no information for them. Another neat option is to click the Auto Pick Next button. That will automatically pick a time, either previous to the time you've selected or after the time you've selected, that all the individuals would be able to attend. Once you have the correct time selected, and you can tell that no one's busy during that time, you can simply click Make Meeting. That will then bring up the meeting, and you can fill in the subject of the meeting, put in a location, select a label, and you can set a reminder. You can also assign contacts or categories by clicking either of the buttons at the bottom of the screen and then click send to send the meeting request to the attendees. Then you can close the plan a meeting dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.